I just want to talk quickly about using functions inside control callbacks. So I advocate using a function inside a control callback pretty much all the time. Don't write logic inside the control callback, put that logic inside a function and then call the function from the control callback. This has a few advantages. The first one is just organizational. You know that every callback is going to be calling a function. Another advantage is that if you want to do that same routine, whatever the function's doing, you want to do it from multiple locations, you don't have to rewrite the same code, you can just call that function. And what I've got for you today is an example of when that's going to be useful. So somebody on the forum has sent me a message and they've basically got, let me show you the project. So they've got two reverbs and they want this master knob to control these two knobs. As you can see, that's working using these link buttons. And then they want these two knobs to control the room size of the reverb. And you can see that works. So we control the room size with these two knobs. And when they're linked, they should also be controlling the room size. And the size that we set, the value that we set when they're unlinked is going to be the maximum size that the master knob will set them to. So if I set this one to 25 and this one to 43, and then we link them, the lowest that both go to is zero. And then at the highest, this one's 25 and this one's 43. So that's the idea. And the problem they've got is obviously this doesn't work when the controls are linked. So what they thought of doing at my suggestion, and you can see they've put here, this doesn't work in this scenario, is calling the dot change callback once they've updated these two knob values. And that should trigger the callback for each of these knobs. So we'll do that. And now we can see the room size is working, but now they're stuck at zero. So I'll move these independently and they go back to zero. So it's not doing what they want, basically. So this change thing is not the way to go in this scenario. So let's just delete that. So this is the action that's called when they move one of the knobs, either the A or B knob, and then it's setting the reverb here. So what I'm suggesting is we move this into its own function. So let's make a function down here. We'll call it set reverb. We could give it a more interesting name, um, but that'll do. And we're going to take two parameters. The first one's going to be the index of the reverb. So are we working on reverb one or reverb two? And the value, that's going to be the room size. And then we're just going to copy this line that they've got here in, which is currently in the control callback. We're going to put this into our function and the index and the value are already part of that because they're getting index here and they've got value there. This is the thing that sets where the maximum value is for each knob. So they've got an array up here somewhere. Uh, there it is, knob max. And that sets what the, what the maximum value can be for each knob. So it makes sense to have that in this control callback. And then we're going to call our set reverb function, pass in the index, which again, they're already getting here from whichever knob move, uh, triggered the callback. And then we'll put the value in there, which is just the value of the knob. So this is when they're moving the master knob. So after they've, so what they're doing is they're checking if the link, val the link button is enabled. So this button or this button. And then if it is, they're setting the value of the knob, which we saw, and they're using that knob max array which they've set up here as like um, a multiplier so all we have to do instead of calling changed here is we just have to call this function again and for the index we're going to put i and for the value that will be what we've got in here so we'll paste that in there and then we'll hit f5 and if i've done that correctly this should work so we'll open these up and we'll have our UI as well. So they work independently. And now if we link them, yeah, they work and it goes to the maximum, which is set for each knob independently. All right, I hope you found that quick tip useful. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.